Grove Beacon Show Road checkout. So on the walls in the hallway, we've got the usual scuffs and marks. You would expect, you'll notice that the skirting boards have not been cleaned or dusted probably in the last year. We've got some cracking and we've got some marks that are a bit more than fair wear and tear. No attempt has been made to clean them off in any way as we rise on the stairs. You'll notice the stairs have not been particularly well hoovered, They're covered in a light layer of dust and just general grime where the stairs have not been hoovered very well. Backing off a little bit and going in the hallway you'll see that none of the banisters have been dusted probably in the last year. Hallway at this point is in good condition. Fridge. The fridge which is now open it's got food in it, it's got food residue in it and needs to be hygienically cleaned for the next people. We've got in the fridge area, we've got food stains, front and back. We've got stains all up the back of the fridge. Glass shelves haven't been cleaned or taken out. Inside the freezer, we've got a lot of food residue in the bottom and the shelves are, as you can see, filthy. Toilet tissue. Floor has not been washed or cleaned. Come in! Sorry, skirting boards not been washed or cleaned. Nasty dent in the side of the fridge, don't know what that's about. Behind us we've got the storage cupboard and in there here is a whole pile of personal items that shouldn't be there. As we move down to the dining area we'll notice that this hasn't been cleaned skirting board, somebody's been scribbling on the table and left some food or something, a pair of jeans uh, and nobody's moved the table to clean it so we've got rubbish and items all over there. Sofa's okay, nobody's dusted on the telly plastic items around there. Windows, unclean. Bin area, bin in the kitchen. Mold and rubbish. Behind the bin, rubbish. So now we're done with working surfaces. Washing machine. Covered in food stains, drips, various other things. Various marks, but it hasn't been cleaned and wiped round. This is part of the washing machine that I have had to drain down because it was full of water. So, on the working surfaces, there's a lot of personal items that have just been left and shouldn't be here. You can see the surfaces haven't been cleaned at all or wiped round. Neither have the tiles with basic surface grime on them. As we move along, more and more grime, more and more grime, more and more grime. Into the sink, which is a lovely brown colour. And then the drainer, which has got all sorts of stuff on it. And the cloth. Plenty of dirtiness on the draining board. This cupboard has been broken and 
various items of cleaning products presumably in there the shelves have all been left dirty and covered in food as the floor has as well washing machine this is the top of the washing machine absolutely filthy inside filthy and the rim filthy top of the dryer covered in dust and food inside no attempt has been made to clean it or the filters or the back of it or in fact the front of it which is also covered in food bits and pieces of food um, pulling the unit out to read the water meter it's clear that nothing has been cleaned under there various things noodles and breakfast cereal the round cupboard in here it's covered in food both top and bottom personal items of food have all been left in here toaster covered in food working surface covered in food sandwich maker left behind inside these cupboards we've got food and staining throughout the outside of the cupboard we've got greasy marks where things have been dripped and sprayed all over it microwave filthy on the outside yellow on the inside and that's the microwave inside it is filthy and it's cleaning behind the microwave nobody's moved it therefore it is covered in food this cupboard food well staining and stuff top of the extractor covered in grease the extractor covered in grease and the cover for the extractor has been broken and is sitting on the side it's covered in grease the oven hob has been cleaned just not well enough to remove the food at all round it's all full of food the cooker is black. No attempt has been made to clean the glass inside the cooker at all. Personal items. It's the kitchen. Bathroom. Personal items. Lime scale. Toothbrushes, toothpaste, pods, all sorts of things. Toilet unclean, so the seat unclean. The glass on this unit should be uh, clear and is covered in light scale. The shower has got personal items left in it, shampoo. Razor blade, um, lime scale, lime scale, and lime scale, more lime scale. Going through to the first downstairs bedroom. On first initial thoughts, seems quite nice. Seems like they've done a reasonably good job at clearing up floor needs hoovering. You can see there's various bits of food or something on the floor. There's a nasty blue stain down the unit and on top of the unit. Some coat hangers. Drawers, yep, pretty good. Windowsill clean. This room has non sweet bathroom. Just figure out where the light was, there it is. 
here we've got masses of lime scale on the screens. This unit is covered in lime scale, therefore isn't shiny. Um, and plug hole is as well zooming. Not too bad, but it still needs to clean. Walls are clean, floor is clean. No attempt has been made to clean the skirting boards in here. Toilet, fair, no, no, lots of round hinges. Um, under the seat, blue cleaner. Second bedroom downstairs in front of the house. Desk covered in something. Fairly clean, not too many issues. Bit of the white round skirting boards. Not too bad at all. Jenny, I'm done down here. I'm going to start the top and work my way Oh, I see, okay. Stairs, as we mentioned before, dirty from top to bottom. Nasty brown mark on the wall. Lots of dust. Um, so, top of the stairs, small bedroom. Nice and First impressions, nice and clean. Bit of tidying. The skirting boards and the window shelf rather hasn't been cleaned. Uh, floor is fairly clean. Let's go into the bathroom. Bathroom totally is unclean. There's a five pence piece down the loo. Nobody's cleaned the skirting boards. All the way along. A towel, somebody's left behind. Cleaning products clearly unused for removing lime scale. Well, this sink completely covered in lime scale. There is more dirt pot covered in lime scale. In fact, the pot shouldn't be there. And the shower itself, as you can see, hopefully in the reflection, covered in lime scale from top to bottom, outside and inside. Unclean, the runners are all unclean, nobody's attempted to clean them at all. The plug hole is filthy, full of hair. And the shower unit itself, not too bad, but it does need a go going over. Walls have been wiped, but not clean properly cleaned. So we leave that one, we go into the second bedroom, top of the stairs. First impressions, pretty good. Floor's clean. Massive amount of dust on the top of fireplace. Curtain poles down and one curtain fitting exists. It's here again. This all needs a good dust, so we can see. Would have taken not very long at all to sort that out. There's a towel outside in the guttering that somebody's obviously lobbed out of a window. And it's now out there, or dried and it's blown out. That's where the window, um, the curtain around rather, is missing. Apart from that, room's good. Over down along here, you can see it's not been cleaned, it's not been hoovered, otherwise, all this white stuff wouldn't be there. These banister rails have not been cleaned at all. Last bedroom at the back, at the front rather. I believe this was Robin's room. So what do we see? First impressions, not too bad. Walls look a bit bad in here. Um, we've got stickers that have been put onto the cabinets. Need cleaning off. We've got rubbish on the floor, plastic. Bits and pieces, 
which haven't been cleaned away. Inside the drawers full of hair and more bits and pieces they need doing. The bed cover needs replacing, it's got a nasty stain on it there and there and it's sort of, can't quite see if it's yellow in the middle. Um, so we've got some nasty mark on there and there. Top of the fireplace, not too bad. Nasty brown mark on there and there. Windows clean. This wall is covered in poster marks, so where are we? We're on the wall over the fireplace. Here we have blue tack, blue tack, blue tack. The other side, blue tack, blue tack, blue tack, blue tack, blue tack, blue, 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 blue. lots of it. And more, you can just see the dark marks. Now the wall opposite that, so to get the perspective, bed, fireplace, there's the door. If I pull the bed out of the way, we've got blue tack marks all over the wall. Here, many of them. I won't do them all, I'll just do a selection. This wall will have to be repainted. Nasty mark there and there. Blue tack mark there. And there, and now we're virtually at the door here. So, that wall will be repainted at Robin's expense, with, so just for perspective, we will be doing this wall with the door, and the wall with the fireplace. End of recording.